You know what? I'm having deja vu here, and I can't get this thing any further up. It's gonna hit us right at the driver door, and... Oh! Oh, what? <laughs> yes, I love destruction! Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs, and today we are going to try and build a F1 car, and we're also going to check out some workshop creations. Now this episode is going to be formatted much like the last episode, so I'm going to do a time lapse of the F1 build at the beginning. Now if you do want to skip that, it's going to be, I think, right around the 4 minute mark, so you can skim through if you don't want to watch me build that, and you can watch me go right to playing with it. But anyways guys, hope you enjoy the time lapse. Alright, so here's the Formula 1 car, and of course I built it backwards like I did last time in the garage, so we're going to have to back this thing out. Now I'm a little concerned here. Uh, I'm having a little bit of issues with the motors they have in the game. I went ahead and threw a drag motor in, which is com probably not very smart. Uh, F1 did have a V8 motor, but of course this thing's probably going to have so much power to the back wheel, it's going to be nuts. So we're going to try that. I might swap back to the other motor. Uh, it seems like it's going to probably be too small. I don't know, I have to see how to tune these, so let's go ahead and test this out. Just as I thought, the scaling of the character, he's so big. I mean, his head kind of fits in there, but the body and all that... Ah, that's one thing that bugs me about this game. They don't match the, um... They really don't match the seats very well. Uh, they seem bigger than normal Legos, and... Whoa, what is that? Okay. There we go. Yeah, this is going to be way too much power. I actually uh, stiffened the back suspension a bit, hoping that it wouldn't bounce as much. Uh, this doesn't seem bad. I don't know why the sound's fading in. I don't know if it's because the whole fact that the uh, motor's kind of built into the body. Uh, that could be it. I don't know. Uh, another thing I want to do, I want to add a... Probably a camera block in here. This thing's got way too much power to the back wheels. <laughs> we can just do this little spinning burnout here, and that's how we can get around the track. Um... Uh-oh. I think we just broke the skid plate. Yep. Skid plate's gone. Okay, so let's go ahead and recover the pawn real quick. Uh, remove the vehicle. And let's make a couple revisions here. Uh, now that I have a little bit of a better idea of like how this is going to work. So, let's see. If I get rid of the drag motor. So let's delete that. And let's go ahead. We're going to add... Hmm. What about this one? This one's really big. Let's go ahead and add this motor. Can I fit that in there? 
I know I'm kind of sticking it or glitching it into blocks there, which I think that's, is that even? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this noise fade is a little bit weird. I guess I really am blocking certain things, but uh, there we go. You know what, this thing actually has a little bit more pickup uh, than the normal motor, so I think this is gonna work. I uh, still need to, <laughs> oh, 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 there we go. Okay, we've just lost all our front downforce. It's okay, we're gonna go ahead and go out to the track here. Actually, I wanna get closer to the other garage. That way we can try to actually take this thing around the track, uh, see what kind of suspension adjustments we need to make. I really do want to kind of build the front bigger, but then again, I don't. Like, I love the shape that I achieved, but uh, just the character itself kind of bugs me. All right, here we go. Now, I do have a uh, warning beacon on there. A lot of F1 cars say if it's raining or if the uh, safety car is out, they'll have a little flashing beacon. They do not have a brake light, per se. It's just a, uh, just a little beacon, so you've got that on the back. Uh, for the most part, I'm actually really happy with this. This is pretty cool. Just kind of wish the character was smaller. There ought to be a way to scale him down. Up, 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 up. <laughs> oh, the suspension in this game. I think I might need to adjust that. Actually, it's doing off-roading better than it does on-road, which is kind of a shame. Uh, let's see what happens when we hit this hill here. And whoop, whoop, whoop. Here we go. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. Oh. oh, you know what? Now we don't have a back wing. Can we land on four wheels? Nope, no, we're not. Oh, that's still so satisfying watching that, and oh, the seat came undone. Huh. That worked. Okay, we're gonna stiffen this up. I'm gonna put it at a full 10, so in theory, I think 10 means the back suspension doesn't move. I know that's probably not a good thing, but I just wanna test it out and see what happens here. Okay, come on. Let's go in reverse. Okay, yeah, so the back suspension is not... Where did that come from? Was that a... Oh, we crashed over that. That wheel was still moving. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now we have no back suspension. So, uh, let's see. That's stiff. It actually sticks to the ground really good now. All right, let's just run it down the uh, drag strip here. Uh, this is normally, once you get to a certain speed, you'll kind of get speed wobbles. At least I did with my dragster. So, let's see how this handles the speed. Oh, it's drifting a bit, drifting a bit. Oop, 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 oop. Uh, it's got some speed to it. Uh, those motors actually aren't that bad. I wish it had a little bit beefier sound. Of course, Formula One cars now sound like vacuums compared to how they used to sound. And, oh, we're going to crash. Yeah, that's not bad. That does need refinements. And, oh, you can hear the motor now. That's really neat how it actually muffled the sound when the motor's covered. And look at that. Now we have just a little cart. This is a, uh, I don't know what you want to call this. We have no downforce at all. We just have a motor in the back and see if we can get across that finish line. Nope, nope. Oh, yeah, no, nope, nope, we're not going to make it. Anyways, I'm going to do some uh, refining on that, but uh, let's go test out some other of the workshop creations. Plus, there's something really I found really interesting on the workshop that was made by the developer. All right, the uh, first creation we have here is actually by the developer. I don't know if this is like a proof of concept or I've, I don't know. I've never seen anything like this before in the game. Uh, he's built a crane. And I don't even know if this thing works, to be honest with you. Let's uh, see here. Okay, this rotate. Ooh, that seems a bit wobbly. I don't know. <laughs> seems like we might tip over here. Oh, no, we are going to tip over here. What the heck? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, that's random. Okay, let's go ahead and repair that. Okay, so we got it reset here. It does have a beacon on it, but I don't really think it does much of anything. Um, and I think it's just more like a, hey, this is something that you can build and maybe something they're working on in the future, but it, it looks amazing. Like if this is the stuff that you can start to build uh, once they release new parts and new things, this is pretty cool. Uh, I would like to see a feature where you can mount this to the ground because obviously you can see the base of the crane is moving. We've already tipped over once and oh, here comes the uh, train. Uh, let's see, oh, yep, we're about to tip over. Yep, and it snapped. <laughs> we need some super glue. We just need to super glue those pieces together and wow. Okay, so yeah, obviously we already have a mess here. Um, I don't know. We're gonna have to reset and clean this up real quick. Alright, if you recall last episode, we actually built a limo and it looks somewhat like this. A little bit smaller and a little less well put together. This thing looks fantastic. It's by Archie. And let's see how it drives. This thing is huge and oh, I think it's got a drag motor in it. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, what else does it do? I see some horns. Uh, does that work? Oh. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. I don't think we want that. 
Uh, let's see here. I really want to see this thing get split in half by a train because this is going to be even more epic than mine because I think there might be a chance you might survive. And does this thing have an interior? Let's see. Okay. All right. Well, there's not much on the interior, but he's done a fantastic job with the way it looks, the roof. It almost looks like he was using basically the same model I was going off of uh, with mine. He just made it a much larger scale. And there goes the train. No, I want you to hit me. I will stop on the track over here and see if we can get it to hit us. I'm pretty sure we're going to high center on this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is probably an everyday problem with uh, limo drivers, of course. Uh, yeah. You know what? I'm having deja vu here, and I can't get this thing any further up. It's going to hit us right at the driver door, and... Oh, oh, what? <laughs> yes, I love destruction. Oh, that was way more brutal than last time. Actually, look at that. We flipped a... Looks like we flipped a big cargo container over there. Wow. Oh, and we're burning. <laughs> that was impressive. Okay, well, instead of just destroying this guy's creation, I figured let's go ahead and actually drive it around a bit. Just, you know, get a feel for it. Uh, let's see. Man, this thing's got way too much power, and there we go. Wow, get it. Really? Really? Come on, city. You know what? That ought to be illegal to have curbs this big. Okay, you know what? We decided we're too big for city life. Let's go ahead and try the desert here. And All right, here we go. Man, I'm going to get stuck out here too, ain't I? Yep, look at that. Okay, you know what? I don't know if there's really a good place to drive this thing. Maybe the racetrack? <laughs> it's just so long. Uh, that's definitely a cool creation, though. But, um, yeah, we're kind of screwed out here. Let's go ahead and grab another one. Okay, here we go. All right. All right, I might have found a spot. Might have found... Are you kidding me? We've high-centered again. You know what? You know what? I just don't think this game shows any love for truly awesome limos like that. I guess we need to go grab another creation here. Actually, you know what? I have a plan for that limo. Let me go grab the next one. You know what? If the game is not going to show any love to the limo, we're just going to blow it up. We've got a real gun. This is by Verdeth. If you recall, we covered his mammoth tank last episode. And this is fantastic craftsmanship. This looks awesome. And hey, look at that. I'm pretty sure this thing fires like his other one, so, hmm, we're gonna hit the, I think the alt key? Okay, that controls the turret, and I'm assuming maybe we're gonna click here and, oh, oh, okay, this is a little bit different, whoa, get an extreme amount of lag there when this thing hits, that's kind of weird, is it shooting two guns? Yeah, there's two guns in there, that's weird, you know, normally this game doesn't lag when you destroy stuff, especially there's not much on the map here, but, we sure are. Whoa, 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 we're drifting. Drifting. Okay, let's uh, let's get into neutral here. Maybe it'll hold. Okay. Boom. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, we've completely torn apart the uh, limo. I kind of want to just drive through it. Let's see if we could split it in half here. There we go. I love destruction. Destruction's so fun. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to drive forward here and let's just run through it. And Oh, I'm missing a part of my, my tank here or my, my rail gun. Here we go. Oh, yep, nope, we, we're still not to the point where we can drive over creations. Uh, I guess we'll have to kind of wait on that one, but yeah, we've completely destroyed that limo. That's amazing. Uh, took the whole top off. We didn't quite split it in half. I'm actually, uh, oh, 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 oops. Oops, apparently we can destroy the water tower too. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to leave Mr. Uh, limo there. He's pretty well destroyed. Let's drive this thing around a bit. This thing is really cool. A bit top heavy, you can feel the uh, the top rail guns beginning to. Oh, that's gonna be a. Uh, it's pretty steep, pretty steep. There we go. Yeah, that top rail gun's really wobbly, so it's. I, I'm assuming it's heavy. I don't know how the weight properties really work in this game. Uh, I'm wondering, you know, now, where did he get those colors? I don't recall there being a metallic kind of rusted color there. That is cool. That is really cool. Kind of look at the bottom here, see how it works. Yeah, if they can add some sort of treads to the game, this would be amazing. I'd love to uh, see some more tanks created. Picking up some speed here. I wonder if I run over a cactus. Is that like a movable object? Uh, let's see. Nope. Okay. Those are apparently indestructible cactuses, and they've defeated our railgun here. That's still an awesome creation. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the next one. All right, we've got another creation here by Grouchy. Now, remember, all creations that I cover will be in the description, so if you want to go download them in your game. Uh, this is a coach bus. Uh, we covered a city bus on the first episode that was fairly big, but I think this one's just a bit taller. 
and it's got a really detailed interior. You can see all the seats. This is cool. I'm, I'm really ready to crash this thing. That's going to be a lot of parts. Like, that body, and this thing's heavy. You can feel it. Ah, uh, okay. I'm so tempted to go immediately take it to the train tracks, but I wanted to actually drive it around just a bit. Don't I high, don't high center. Don't high center. Don't do it. There we go. Yeah, I want to drive it around a bit. But yeah, of course, we're going to run this thing into a uh, train. You know, I don't know if that's just a recent thing they've changed, but it seemed like the sound is just weird now. Like, it just kind of goes away. Like, depending on where the camera is, and I don't remember it doing that, it's not producing a consistent sound, because when I'm behind it, I can't hear the creation anymore. Oh, crud, there's not a... Okay, that's an unfinished highway. Wow, okay. <laughs> I thought we were going to jump on the other bridge there, and apparently... Apparently, it's not finished. So, yeah, we've already destroyed the bus. Let's, uh, kind of examine the damage here. Oh, yeah. Oh, this thing's screwed up. Wow. Oh, he's even got a bench seat in the back. That's cool. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and recover this. We're still going to let this thing get hit by a train. Still really surprised by how functional people make these creations because, I mean, you would think this thing, there's no way it's going to turn. I mean, it turns like a bus, all right, but it actually, it does a pretty good job. Uh, let's go find our nearest train tracks, or at least the tracks we can get to. You know, we can get to these. We're going to drive off here. It's nice and snowy. Uh, all of a sudden, we veered off the road. We're kind of lost. We don't know where we are. You know, I kind of want to see this thing get hit head on because... I don't know if this is going to be an explosion of parts. I have a feeling the game might crash. It's done it before. Uh, come on. You gotta get up on it. No. No. No, the train's coming. The train is coming. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. You know what? All right, go up into gear. Just push against... All right, let the train pass. Bye, train. Man, this weather cannot decide what it wants to do. It's like Texas weather. It's just raining, not raining, snowing, not snowing, sunny. Uh, let's see. All right, we're going to get on the tracks this time. We're going to, like, try to line up with them. Uh, you know what? That's that's fairly close to where we need to be. I'd like to be a little bit further. Let's see if we can nudge our way forward. Kind of debating if I want to be on the inside or if I want to be on the outside when this all goes down. I, I guess maybe the inside is going to be the best advantage. This is a fantastic bus. Like I said, it's made by Grouchy. Um, sorry for destroying everybody's creations, but this is just my love for Lego. I love doing this. This is great. All right, here she comes. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. This is going to be a lot of parts. Here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh man, it broke the whole back end of the bus off. Wow. There's not much left. Uh no survivors. That was great. Yep, here's the back part of the bus. You know what? The people in the back row actually made it. But yeah, that was great. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next creation. All right, so this is a concept race car. This thing actually looks really awesome. This is by Trance. We've covered him before. I probably should have pulled this thing out before I did the F1 car because he's got some really, really neat ideas here with the uh, way he's done his suspension and the uh, arms on the for the wheels. I mean, that's really cool. And oh, man, those curves. Those curves are something. Actually, you know what? This is an electric motor in here. It has no sound whatsoever. This is cool, though. This is really cool. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite creations here. And actually, you know what? We're going to conquer that jump back there. We're going to actually clear that bridge. And oh, no, no, no. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, invisible wall. <laughs> oh, you know what? That gives you a nice view of the pod. Yeah, he's got a nice little pod around the driver there. Uh, I like this. I probably need to build the F1 car a bit up like this because he's got some neat ideas here. So yeah, you're probably going to see an F1 car 2.0. Man, this is probably the best handling creation that I've found in the game. Of course, Trance did a fantastic job. It takes turns great. It's got a nice power balance. Uh, the suspension feels good. It doesn't feel bouncy. It doesn't feel like it's doing anything it shouldn't be doing. Uh, this will probably be my number one choice to take on to the racetrack. Uh, this is just fantastic. I would say it's pretty much near perfect as far as it's handling, uh, especially in this game. This game's got some wonky handling at times. Yeah, I'm going to kind of pull this thing apart a bit and refine my F1 car with it because this thing works so well. But anyways, guys, I hopefully you enjoyed today's episode of Brick Rigs. We are going to be doing some multiplayer uh, very soon with this. I've been talking to a couple guys. I'm not going to name any channels, but yeah, we've talked about doing some multiplayer action in here anything from races to builds to i'm gonna crash i crashed again yeah i was going to just get out here i should stay away from driving here 
but yeah, we're going to do plenty more brick rigs. We're going to do some multiplayer. Uh, if you guys have any ideas for multiplayer, I don't know how fleshed out it is. I've heard there's some issues with it right now, but I will try to put something together for you guys. But anyways, guys, if you have any suggestions for anything you want me to build, anything you'd like to see in brick rigs, or if you have any creations that you want to send me, just comment below and I'll uh, respond to you there. But hope you enjoyed the episode and we will see you guys next time on Brick Rigs. Thank you.